Hello, and welcome back to my Pokemon Omicron Nuzlocke. Uh, while you were away, I decided to level up my team. As you saw earlier, Freedom has evolved with a really cool evolution. It's an animation thing, and uh, Knives Chow is now useful. Uh, it was a pain to train up, as you can see here. The only move it had was Absorb, which was not very effective against everything in the area, except for Rattata, but Rattatas were tough. But, uh, yeah, now it picked up Leech Seed, which is super useful, especially with Absorb. And, uh, I found out right here on the screen that it has EVs and IVs of all of your Pokémon, which, uh, is pretty interesting, because we have, uh, Horsey, which has all around just pretty bad IVs. I mean, it's not bad in HP and speed, but that's pretty low. Uh, freedom is actually incredible. 29 special defense, 31 special attack, 25 defense, 21 health. It has mediocre attack, but it doesn't need that, and its speed is alright anyway. So I'm very happy with freedom. Anyway, I have not spoken to anyone yet in this town, so let's go through everyone. Nope, oh, nope, that is that is not talk. Wow, your Pokemon looks so strong! They are. They are. Devin the gym leader is really tough. My Snorlax could beat him, and my Snorlax is very strong. Anyway, I'm not sure, um... Uh, there's probably something we'll have to do to prevent us from going in the gym, because it's level 15 and we're level 10 right now. There's a sign on the door, gone to help the legend professor. Okay, not a clue where he is. So, hello there, child. Can I ask you a question? Which is your favorite out of the following types? Fire. Oops. Whoops. Whoops. It's supposed to be water. I guess it doesn't matter. Well, hope we catch a Vulpix. <laughs> I don't feel so good. I need an antidote. Oh, you don't have an antidote? Let's see if we can get one. Probably give us something nice. Even brave Pokemon Rangers have to go shopping. I'm here to buy supplies for my vacation. They don't sell me sunscreen. How may I serve you, Master? Alright, antidotes are good. This poison happens a lot. Alright, uh, we need more Pokeballs, because I only have three. Let's get a Premier Ball. Two. Uh... Okay, if I do that, I can only get one potion. It was probably not a good decision. I need more potions than I need Pokeballs, especially since I can only catch one Pokemon per route. I just really wanted a Premier Ball. Please come back again. Yeah, we have Mr. Chef. My favorite Pokemon is Beedrill. Do you have a Beedrill? I'll trade you for my Munchlax. No, thank you. I wish I could just play video games inside. I hate the sun shining so much. It's probably part vampire. I don't feel so good. Antidote. Of course. Take this in return. I got acid. Uh... Okay. That's... disturbing. Hello, I'm the IV changer. Do you know what an IV is? Yes. Would you like me to change one of your Pokemon's IVs? Let's see. I'm sorry, you need an IV stone. Oh, that's cool. Wonder Cave? Probably catch a new Pokemon there. My Psyduck and that Drowsy are having a playdate. But I'm worried that Drowsy's mom forgot about it. Can you remind her for me? Well, we know to talk to Hypno now and get something fancy. Uh, let's talk to this guy first. He he he. Oh yeah, I already talked to this guy. Uh, but yeah, the wild Pokemon over here, some of them are, like, quite cruel. Like, uh, I fought a. Um, the. Cricketot, and it uses Growl and Bide, which is it's just a mean com like combination. Uh, the Hootoots all just spam Hypnosis. Can't escape. Yeah, they have Hypnosis, Foresight, uh, there we go. Nice Chow went to sleep. Yay. Alright, let's get someone who can run away from stuff. 
in. Right. I just want to talk to that hypno. But yes, I don't remember the Hutu's other moves. One's Tackle and Growl, I think. But yes, the... The, uh, Cricket Tots were just terrifying. Even if someone was charging unfair prices for an HM, I'd help you out. Aha! So, I guess that Hypno will be helping me out for, uh, TM. These things! Oh, wait. Uh, I'm not going to risk you. I can uh, deal with them easily with Leech Seed, because uh, the bite doesn't take into consideration the damage from uh, like Leech Seed or Burns or anything like that. So it was pretty easy to beat them. But not with, not with my Metapod. Metapod had a very hard time with them. Especially since Harden just didn't help at all. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't let you in. The Legend Researcher is studying something in there and has requested that nobody disturb him. Well, I don't know where to go. I love Superior Town. It's such a beautiful place. Did you know the legend of this tower? Apparently a legendary Pokemon within rainbow wings died here a long time ago. If only we could turn back the clock. The rock looks dry and is slightly warm to the touch. Perhaps the secret lies inside. Well, probably. Otherwise we won't see any. I want to go through Route 302, but the door is blocked. I need HM Strengths to push the boulder. Too bad I can't afford it. The guy in the Pokemon Battle Club is selling them for a million bucks apiece. Well... Hey kid, can you do me a favor? Can you go to the Wonder Cave in the northeast of our town and find the Legend Researcher? He went there with Devin a couple hours ago. Could you go in there and tell him the shipment has arrived? He'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now... Now we should be able to get past the Mr. Police... Oh! He just disappeared. That's not good. Where'd he go? He's just lost in the forest. Eaten by Dunsparce. We'll never know. Anyway, we could get a new encounter in here, but... Let's wake up. Let's wake up our uh, knives chow. It's a cave, which means rock Pokemon. Butterfree doesn't like rock Pokemon. And I can't have Horsey getting too strong. Even though I really don't know how much I'm going to use Horsey. It doesn't have the power to hit anything hard enough, and it's just weak to special defense. I guess as long as something's using physical moves, uh, it won't have too much trouble, but... Well, the other two are better as of now. Alright. Oh, it's dark. That's fun. Hi-ya! Totally snuck up on me. That's not very nice. Just hiding in the dark, waiting for people to come by. Level 9, Tyrogu! Knives Chow, you have this. You've been training for this moment. Let's get taked out. And then... That doesn't work. Oh... Leech Seed! Aha! Now you cannot possibly hurt me! Alright, let's get our attack up. I should heal more damage than I take. Wahahaha. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time was called Ludi Trollo. It was a shiny Lotad I had with uh, Leech Seed, Giga Drain, Protect, and Substitute. And you can make people very angry using such a horrible tactic. And look at that! It's like we never even battled. Knives Chow, you have earned your place on this team. Sleep Powder! Awesome! It's gonna make catching Pokemon a lot easier. Although I can't Leech Seed Wild Pokemon. Well, I could, it just would be a terrible idea. Okay. Oh, Hiker, I love exploring caves. With his one Whismur. I hope this thing doesn't have uproar. That uproar was absolutely terrifying in uh, Storm Silver. Alright, no. 
now we have super mean tactics, because I can put him to sleep now, too. Wahaha! <laughs> Karma's probably going to get me back. This is too mean of a strategy to use. But I love it. It's funny. None of the Pokémon on my team right now have ever been on my team. I've never used a Horsey. I've never used a uh, Caterpie. Never used a uh, Petlil. I guess that's the fun of these challenges. He forces you to use things that you never normally use. And Knives Chow's just a boss. Yes, staying at home is... That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, another battle. It's pretty dark in here, isn't it? I guess it makes up for that route where no one wanted to battle. They're just sitting around and enjoying the weather. Not battling their Pokémon. Alright, this will be a massacre. Hung on with Sturdy. Ha! That petty attack cannot help you. So I'm not sure what I should talk about during these Nuzlocks, so if you have any suggestions, feel free to give me some ideas. I want to, like, fill this empty space with intelligent conversation. Or, you know, whatever this is right now. Because I could talk about my old shiny Pokemon. People always call them shiny, but you know what? Sh call them shiny Pokemon. Be unique. But uh, back in the days of Crystal, the first uh, or second Pokemon game I ever played, I uh, caught a shiny Doduo on uh, Mount Silver or whatever, just before you go to Battle Red, and I never got a chance to use it because it was on my way to Battle Red. So, that was... that was interesting. I wonder if, like, is there even an encounter in here? Like, can I battle someone? I should have battled someone by now. I'm a Pokémon Ranger! If you want to protect them in their habitats. I guess, I guess that makes sense why you're battling random people in the cave. Oh, this is perfect. It's just gonna spam counter. I only have physical attacks, uh, special attacks anyway. Attack missed. Oh, I get a lot of health back, that's good. Alright. Let's put him to sleep. Get a... and I should... I don't even think I need a growth. Uh, two or three absorbs should do it. Be worth it to boost my stats if it's only going to take that many turns. Also, nickname suggestions. Feel free to give me any nickname suggestions you'd like. Uh, if they're good, I'll use them. And chances are you, your suggestion will be the only one. Because, well, I'm not famous yet. Yet. I hope you, that you don't try to destroy their habits because I can't stop you. Haha. <laughs> you can't at all. And I only destroy some habitats. And it's never on purpose. It's normally just because I need to train my Pokemon so they don't die. TM70, I have Flash now. The Flash move. It can light up dark caves. Just teach it to a Pokemon and it will light the way. No, thank you. I'd rather stumble around in the dark. Oh! Our first encounter! A male rock and roll. Alright. Let's put you to sleep. And... I don't quite want to hit it with a super effective... Uh, absorb. I don't want to switch in anyone either, because... Uh, or C only has... Or... Seahole Saru only has a uh, headbutt that can 
not kill it. Let's not kill it. Alright, Pokeball. Wow, I have a lot more balls than I thought I did. I didn't need to buy that. But the Premier Balls, they're incredible. The number of legendaries I've caught at full health with Premier Ball. Uh, Mewtwo, Rayquaza, and Deoxys. Deoxys was the second Premier Ball, though. I've also put more than, uh, 200? I think it was around 200 po Pokeballs into Entei the first time I tried completing the National Dex, and... Oh, I didn't read... I didn't read his description! No! Anyway, I put 200 Poke Ultra Balls into Entei, and then gave up on the Pokedex. It was a sad day. Okay, so Rog and Rolla evolves into a Gigalith. You call it Rog and Roll, as in, like, rock and roll. I'll just call it Rock in Rock in Rolla. Alright. So we have our first male Pokemon on our team. That's interesting. Wonder how it'll get along with everyone else. IV Stone! Sweet. Let's check out it. Let's check out uh, Rock and Rolla. Or Rock and Rolla. Rock, do that, Cave of Wonders, Jolly, that's good, that's really good, this has Sturdy, oh that would have been, I couldn't risk it, uh, has 22 speed, 14 specialty, oh, zero attack, that is, that's surprising, oh well, it has an adamant nature, that, that should help more than the IVs hurt. Or Jolly Nature. Ninja Strike. Oh, yeah, Jolly increases speed, not attack. But it decreases special attack. Oh! He is a real ninja! You can't even see him! That's awesome! That's hilarious. I I'm not sure if that was intentional, but if that was, that makes me happy. Whoa! That Makubita did a lot of damage. Alright. It's a good thing. Freedom. Freedom is here to save the day. Vital throw. That won't do anything at all. And it's a crit. Six damage crit. And I healed it off. Are you confused? Sand attack. I'm okay with that. As long as you don't have like rock throw or something ridiculous. Confusion. See, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to be over leveled. Like I think this is pretty good right here. I'm around the level or slightly over everyone that I've escaped or battled. Ninja escape. It's not like you were there in the first place. So let's get Seahost Rue some experience here. Oh, and uh, that's the other thing. Uh, when I do train up the Pokemon off-screen, I record everything. I'm just not going to make you watch grinding. No one wants to watch that. Okay, this is definitely intentional. Ninja Oriole has another Makuita. Uh, defense boosting nature shouldn't be able to hurt me too much. Focus energy. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I should only get one attack off on me, though. Maybe more than one attack if I miss. Nope! That was. That was good. Focus energy is always just a little. a little terrifying during this lockdown as it boosts the chance of crits. And crits. crits kill. Ninja escape! Do I want to go down here and talk to this lady? I heard there was a rare item behind this boulder. Oh, if only I had. The strength! <laughs> Alright, second encounter. Could have gotten Makuhita. I'm pretty happy with Rock and Rolla. I mean, it's not going to be useful at all against the fighting gym, but. It's a Rock and Rolla. They look cool. And Sturdy. Sturdy will be incredibly useful. 
especially if something has sheer cold or something like that. Being a Pokemon Ranger is awesome. I get to explore cool, cool places and meet cute girls. Pokemon Ranger Robert would like to battle. Whismur. Rit. Water Gun. Uproar. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, special attack on the super weak special Pokemon. Makes sense. Alright. I'm gonna have to be careful, but uh, I'm going to have Butterfree lead from now on, and let's heal everyone up. Because uh, Butterfree needs the experience. It'll be taking on the gym for the most part. As fighting is four times not very effective against it. So Seahorse Roo. Uh, gotta use one of Knives Chow too. And I'm down to two potions. That's alright, I have money to buy some more. Oh, and uh, another thing in Nuzlocke, many people consider like different levels of caves, like uh, as this part of the cave is like a different level, they would consider that a different area. I'm going to consider like anything in an area, anything with the same name is the same area. Even if there's like vastly different encounter tables, I'm still going to just, if it says it's Route 110, and half of Route 110 is a Sandstorm, then I can only catch one Pokemon in Route 10. Regardless if it's a Sand True or like an area that only has Rotatas. Okay, Geodude. You're not going to stay in against a Geodude. That is a bad idea. See how through. Finish off the Geodude. The four times super effective water gun. Actually, it'll be interesting to use a Rock and Roll, because normally on my playthroughs I get a Geodude instead. And using them with a four times weakness to two types is unnerving because you never know when they're just going to get destroyed. I love exploring. Oh, it's a hiker. It'll probably get around one more. But uh, I'm going to enjoy not having a four times weakness to two very common types. Alright, Knives Chow has this one. With four times super effective grass. And a healing move. Hung on with Sturdy. Super effective. Rock polish. Now it's all shiny. Level 11! Well. Freedom dies and I get another Caterpie, I'm gonna have to name it Braveheart. Just to, just for a play on words on that Freedom reference. The Freedom won't die. I won't allow it. Uh, I can't get up there for some reason? Oh, that's weird. Looks like you can climb up there. A Whismur! When I did my Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke, I got one in Connecting Cave, as everyone does. And it was awesome. I love Whismur. Especially once it gets Boom Burst. I kind of have a crush on Owen, and no one likes Megan. I don't even know if Megan likes boys at all. Being a ranger is so complicated. But yeah, Whismur. Whismur is just a versatile Pokemon. You can teach it whatever. Oh, wow. Level 12. Let's hope it doesn't have Rock Throw. No, fake out. Freedom flinched. It's two for flinching, so I hope not. Super effective. Tackle. And here I was worried that I'd be slightly overleveled. Super effective. Well, she's definitely had the strongest Pokemon we've seen so far. Especially once it gets a fighting move. 
Alright, do boys like powerful Pokemon? No, I wouldn't consider Tyrogu. Oh, what? Oops. That's not good. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. No! no. Oh, wait, we're back at the beginning. That's alright. Alright, so we have to go here. I have to walk all the way around. Alright. Geo Dude! Freedom, this is not your battle. Ah, uh, Freedom's starting to take a little bit of a beat. Should be fine, though. Okay. We're almost back to where we were. I'm gonna have to remember not to go the same way. I doubt any of the Pokemon in this area have rock throws yet, but I don't want to um, risk it. Especially not with uh, Butterfree, with the four times a week to rock moves and whatnot. Okay. Okay. This should be the end of the cave coming up here. Huh, but how do we actually get it to emerge? I don't know, man. I'm just here to bust open rocks. I may need, need you to bust it open after all. Huh? It's warm. Did you know this? Well, whatever you're doing, it's working. Quick, put your hand on the stone. Dark Rave put their hand on the stone. Exclamation marks. Oh, something appeared! And no one knows what it is. It's unknown. And unknown kill my star you. Oh, it's psychic type. I forgot about that. Okay. What do I have that's good against psychic type? Uh, nice chow. Stall it out. As long as that hidden power is like ice or fire or something. If it was fire, it would have done a lot more damage to, um... Or if it was either of those... Oh, wow, that, that did quite a bit. Alright. Let's leech seed you. Missed, really? Come on. Alright. Big. Potion. Power. Okay. I'm going to have to go. Should I go for the sleep powder or should I heal up Butterfree for the switch? Let's go for the sleep powder. Alright. So now I can switch into. Finish it off with Seahost Root, even though it's weak to uh, special attacks. Fast asleep. Water gun. Oh shoot. Oh, that's good. Ciao. Oh wow, an unknown. They're quite rare Pokemon. Unknown only show themselves when there's a great power about. We must have a bright future. Hey, why are you here anyways? Oh my, my package arrived. Excellent. I have to go. Dark Grave, I think you should go to Fiangia City. It's to the southwest of here. My friend Wilson has a laboratory there. I recommend you see him. I'm sure he'll be very interested in you. It's quite a feat to conquer Pokemon as rare as the unknown. You should come check out my gym. I warn you though, I'm much harder to beat than an unknown. I have to go. Darkgrave, Devin thanks you for all your help. After you, Darkgrave. Alright. So, um... I'm gonna have to fight the gym leader now, and... 
I am significantly under the uh, level 15 mark, so I think I'm going to get uh, the team up to 14, 14, maybe 13. 13 should be good. I'm going to get uh, Butterfree up to 15, though. Everyone else up to 13, because, uh, well, actually, I have no clue what the next gym is. Yeah, I don't have any clue what the next gym is. But if I get Butterfree up to 15, I could be careful and make sure not to get it over 17. But it's my best chance against this gym. Uh, Because my real concern is that uh, I end up being too high leveled for this gem 2, which requires I don't go over level 17. And I don't know how much there is between this town and the next gem. But uh, I'm going to get Butterfree up to 15, everyone else up to 13. I think, that, I think that'll work. Anyway, uh, there probably isn't much more to this episode. Uh, I'll see if there's anything else to do around town. If not, uh, I'll end it, and the next episode will be the gem in its entirety. And hopefully we'll have some episodes after that. We should. I haven't lost the first gem yet. In any Nuzlocke, actually. Uh, though back in the day, Pokemon Red with my Charmander, Brock was, Brock was unstoppable. I had no clue how you were supposed to beat him. Amber didn't do any damage, and Tackle it was just a hard first gym. I actually used to have to start with Squirtle just so I could get past that first gym. Let's hope it's not as hard as Brock's. Although Brock's was pretty easy once you know what you're doing. I had no clue what I was doing back in the days of Red. Uh... Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else to do around this town. So, uh... I'm going to get my team up to level, and I'm going to end the episode here. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.